So today guys, I want to go over all the materials and currency which you can get within Biomutant. Check out how and where they are obtained and also what they do and can be used for. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Biomutant, be sure to subscribe. So within Biomutant materials are very, very helpful. When it comes to crafting new weapons and armor, they're an absolute must. And today we go over each material where they are obtained and I can get them very easily. So the materials within this game are clink, plank, polymer, rubber, and e-waste. Basically metal, wood, plastic, rubber, and e-waste, whatever that is. These materials are used when it comes to crafting if you want to build a certain item together. It notifies you of what you need. And early on in the game, these materials it seems you'll find yourself short on them. Now for the most part materials are found randomly within the world via material towers. That's what I'm calling them, material towers. Which you simply have to smash to get said materials. Now it seems as though what you get from these is completely random. Earlier on I was getting between 2 and 5. They could also depend on the power of your melee weapon too. At least I have no idea on. But there are these kinds of towers everywhere on the map and they notify you when you get close to them as one for each material type. Now you can also get materials from killing certain enemies too. I mean it ain't as consistent as material towers, but they're still there. Another way to get easy materials is to scrap unwanted armor pieces. These you don't realize how much you accumulate, so for sure get rid of that older junk you ain't ever going to use. Also within your inventory you can again scrap everything you don't need here. And like I said, it does accumulate for sure. I will add, you are maxed out at 99 pieces of each material type, so keep that in mind. And I know some watching this will think, well I'll never get to that number. Let me tell you guys, they rack up quite quickly without you even knowing, especially when you start scrapping and dismantling things you're never gonna use. So on to the currency, and the currency in this game is called green. It can be used to purchase things within the game, which you will need from health packs, weapon parts, armor and more. So the more you have the better, obviously. And green can be obtained from various different sources. The easiest way to get it is to just scour the map and look out for these kind of bushes which you jump through and they reward you green. Another way to get green is to also kill enemies and loot them. This isn't a guarantee but for sure can sometimes see decent amounts come from certain enemies. Now the best way in my opinion without a shadow of a doubt to get that green is to loot absolutely everything guys. Because although some loot will be very very useful to you and that loot you do want to keep, other loot as you progress through the game becomes useless. And while this loot can be sold to the many many vendors within the game which can be found all over the map in towns and more people and it gives you plenty of green and I mean plenty of it. So yes. That's what you use green for and how you get it. And guys, that is it for the materials. Now I've done standalone videos on bio points and PSI points. If you want to check them out, you'll find them on my channel. But yes guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if it helped you out, leaving a like really helps me out. People, if you're new around here and want to see more bio me, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.